The use of drones in vegetable farming and agriculture in general has been increasing in recent years. Despite the hype around their operation, drones are essentially an aerial platform to carry out different tasks or capture information based on the payload or sensors they carry. The advantage of drones over other crop sensing platforms is that they can be deployed easily, cover relatively large areas quickly and achieve ultra-high resolution image capture. The sensor is the critical element for data capture and determines what the drone can be used for. Options include digital RGB images for 3D crop model or automated plant counts, multi-spectral sensors for crop sensing, thermal cameras, beneficial insect dispersal and chemical tanks for spot spraying. Stuart Grigg is a private vegetable agronomist based in Werribee, Victoria. He commenced using drones as part of his agronomy services. The ag tech space is a really interesting one that I've been watching for a number of years. And I guess there's two parts of the ag tech space or the drone space that I've actually focused on for the business and for actually providing value to the clients that I'm working with. One is around plant counts and understanding exactly how many uh, plants are in the field, how many plants have established, and then we can actually start doing forecasts for how much is going to harvest and add value to businesses that are further down the supply chain that are then trying to market that produce to the retailer and onwards to the consumer. The second part of it is understanding the mapping side of it and looking at crop uniformity within a field looking at crop uniformity in response to soil types, looking at crop uniformity in response to soil nutrition, and looking at crop uniformity overall, that which we can then relate back to plant counts and give an estimation of what sort of yield we expect to get off each crop each time we go in and harvest. Automated plant counts can be used to forecast yield in hand harvesting crops, such as lettuce and brassicas, that currently don't have any yield monitoring capability. Validation of the court algorithms by the Queensland Department of Agriculture and Fisheries has found accuracies of higher than 99%. Andrew Johansson is Mulgawi's Sustainable Farming Practices Manager. Mulgawi has been working with the Queensland Department of Agriculture and Fisheries to understand how drones can add value and provide valuable information to vegetable businesses. We've worked hard with that and Horde Innovation and they've been very helpful for us to uh, be able to get on the front foot with what, what the latest technology is, wh which way should we be going with innovation and, and sustainability. Initially a whole lot of people wanting to try drones and throw them up and see what they can do. There's been a lot of data produced and a lot of it just how to interpret that data has been the issue and the amount of um, size of the data but they seem to be overcoming a lot of those um, obstacles and I find drones pretty exciting. The opportunities are pretty endless and we're, we've got a lot to learn yet on what, what they can actually do for us. Mulgawi has also been looking at crop sensing using drones for both estimating yield and maturity in corn and green beans. Multi-spectral imagery from drones can be used to detect areas of higher and lower plant vigour which can impact on crop maturity at harvest. While this imagery can indicate areas that are underperforming or stressed, it can't determine the cause of this stress or growth constraint. This requires ground truthing in the field. With lots of hype around drones in agriculture, Stuart Grigg and Mulgawi Farming Company are demonstrating how drones can be used to provide useful information for vegetable businesses.